hi there today we are going to continue our discussion on unmai vilakkam which is song number 19 honestly this is a little bit complicated song i really don't know how this is going to be expressed in english because even to express this in tamil it's a little bit challenging so trying it out in english so if there is any mismatch in my words or whatever please pardon me for that song number verse number 19 starts this way ellai palam pudumai eppodum nichayithal allal tharum kiriyai ஆன்மாவுக்கு ஒல்லை அறிவு ஆசை ஐம்புலனும் ஆரவரும் காலம் குறியா மயக்கும் என்று கொள் டுடே சாங் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி கான்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் எஸ்டர்டே சாங் பிகாஸ் இன் எஸ்டர்டே சாங் வி ஸ்போக் அபவுட் த நேம்ஸ் ஆஃப் வித்யா தத்துவம் வி ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த நேம்ஸ் அண்ட் டுடே Uh, the guru nadar is not giving the names of those but directly he goes on to the characteristics so let's do a small recap from yesterday's verse and then we will continue with today's one so yesterday we spoke about the seven uh, vidya tattvam which is kalam kalam means time niyadi means justice kalai means exertion vidyai means knowledge aragam means desire Purudan is Purush, Maya is Maya. We spoke about these seven. Today, Guru is actually explaining what are the functions or characteristics or attributes or even the, uh, the uh, uh, way how it functions. Today, we are going to discuss about those. So, starting with the first one, Kalam. Kalam, as we said, it is time. so we all know what is the functionality of time and time is based on three areas which is past tense present tense and future tense based on the past tense whatever we have done good or bad all those are going to be consolidated together and today which is the present present is uh, whatever we are whether it is happiness or sadness or whatever we are going through some emotional turbulence that is in the present and then future until what extent we need to be having this happiness or this sadness or this kind of a pain or this kind of a pleasure is also decided based on the time factor so today we are ta- uh, talking about the space and time and what not that's exactly the same concept so when you talk about time how long can i be happy how long should i be sad how long should i go through a pain how sh- how long should i go through a pleasure these are all predetermined it is not under our control it is all predetermined and who takes care of it or what takes care of it is kalam one tattvam which is called as kalam literally translated as time the second tattvam in vidya tattvam is niyadi niyadi is justice it's a very very important tattvam why we say it is important is because when i do a deed the good or bad should be accumulated in my account and it should not be taken to someone else's account imagine a situation my parents are doing some deed good or bad i should not be the one um enjoying that fruit or i should not be the one going through the suffering that is totally unfair but now the second question you may ask is then i can see my dad doing some misdeed and because of that i am suffering today yes that is not because of his deed remember it is because of our own deed what is the work of justice or the niyadi tattvam is very simple when i do a deed good or bad i should go through some experience my parents are in a right position to give me that experience because of according to their karma so their karma and my karma syncs very well the synchronicity is very well done that is the reason what god has done is he made us be born to these parents think about it did i did we ask that i need to be born for these parents no did our parents ask for us no then how did we be born for them 
hundred percent based on niyadi tattvam. So the niyadi tattvam, which is called as the justice, hundred percent works as per justice. That's why it is given the name justice. The next one is kalai, the third tattvam. So we have seen kalam, which is time. We have seen justice, which is niyadi. The third one is kalai, which is also called as a kriya. When you talk about kriya or the kalai tattvam. This is very very important because this is the one which is going to give us slight clarity. When we go through some pain, it's like, hey, I did not do anything right now, but why am I going through this pain? So we start thinking about it. When we start thinking about it, we realize that it is because of our previous birth journey. We are going through some pain because of this. So now, once we when when we go through this, when we are aware of it, we get into the present. When we get into the present moment, we start realizing that there is nothing called as I did it. There is nothing called as mine. There is nothing called as me. All these are ignorance. When I say I am the one doing it, it is mine. It is me. It is mine. Whatever it is, those are all ignorance. It is a hundred percent showing off that we are ignorant people. So what happens here is uh, the the next tattvam comes in place, which is called as kalle. What is the work of kalle? Very simple, making sure we are getting a little bit clarity that it is not my work. Something is actually asking me to do this. We are working as per. the law of universe the fourth tattvam is vidya tattvam which is called as vittai vittai is jnana which is basically to give us the clarity which is to give us the idea behind whatever suffering we are going through to give clarity is what this particular tattvam which is called as jnana is mainly working on so it's called as vidya vittai The next tattvam is aragam. Aragam is also called as icha. Icha means desire. What is this function? Very simple. Whatever we lost, whatever we have not attained, we start earning for that. When we say we are starting to earn for that, that is the function of icha. It is not going to lead us to anything. Imagine we are given two chocolates. we are offered only one from the two we pick one and we start tasting it do you think our mind will always be relishing the one that is in our mouth no rather we will be longing for the other one which we missed this happens with job applications this happens with even uh, the love uh, factors that we have gone through whatever whenever we are given a choice we always start longing for the one that we have missed out this is because of icha or the desire the next one is purush the next tattvam is called as purush it is not a separate uh, tattvam altogether it is a combination combination of time justice kriya jnana and icha so these five the earlier five that we discussed put together is called as purush Pur, the tattvam called as purush purush is not a separate uh, one it is actually put together and the final one is maya when you talk about maya we are aware of it maya is something that is uh, giving us a kind of a delusion you look at it we are looking at the car a uh, house whatever whichever is impermanent we look at it and we think that that is permanent ever per we if ever uh, you know it, it, we we feel that that's going to be there forever but actually we will realize that it is not so this kind of a a cognitive brain is what we need to attain that is what we need to grasp that is what we need to get now kalam niyadi kale vittai aragam which is time justice kriya jnana icha put together is called as purush and these five put together is called as panja kanjugam again a technical term sorry about that it is called as panja kanjugam five dresses together so that is how we call it panja kanjugam now 
This is also the Vidya Tattuvam, the seven Vidya Tattuvam is also called as Poha Saitiru Kandam. Poha Saitiru Kandam is another name for Vidya Tattuvam. Now, we have already seen in, I think in song number 15 or 16, we were discussing about how this body is formed for us. Let's do a small recap of it now because that time we were just introducing uh, those concepts. Now let's have a better clarity. So when you look at it, this particular soul, when it is in 100% ignorant state, it doesn't know what is happening around it, has no clarity about what is happening. So the, the first thing God, uh, Lord, Lord Shiva is doing is, he is sending her, us his love and affection. That is to make us a little bit matured. Now when the soul is matured a little bit, what he does is he adds on one layer of dressing. The first layer of dressing which is called as, uh, which is called as uh, happiness body happiness body okay let me not try to translate that because it might not be sounding it might not sound very good it is called as ananda maya kosha ananda maya kosha means it is the five uh, basically the first level the first level of body is called as ananda maya kosha and that is given now what happens is the second layer of dressing is coming in that is where Purudan is given. As we said earlier, Purudan is not Purush. The, the Tatuam called as Purush is not an independent one. It is a combination. Combination of time, justice, Kriya, Jnana and, and Kali. So these five put together. These five put together is what is given to us as the second layer of dressing. This is called as Vijnana Maya Kosha. So the soul is there. The first layer, level of dressing, first layer of dress that is given is Ananda Maya Kosha, which is full of blissful state. The second layer of dressing is called as Vijnana Maya Kosha. Vijnana Maya Kosha is basically time, justice, Kriya, Jnana, Icha put together. From If you look at from the uh, Vidya Tattuvam, five together which is time justice exertion knowledge and desire put together so those put together is called as purudan purush and that is where the life is right now the third layer of dressing is given this is what we call it as sittam we have already discussed about this also we were talking about what is the the concept of uh, sittam earlier if you can recall that so that is the third level third layer of dressing that has been included siddham is nothing but subconscious mind so siddham is added that is the third le level which is called as mano maya kosha mano maya kosha which is also called as the the body which is very very subtle form in a very subtle form this concept is attached now what is there with us the soul is there first level of dressing is there second level of dressing which we have five or five elements of it which is called as purudan and then the third layer of dressing comes in which is added with the subconscious mind now the fourth level of dressing comes in there we are going to get eight kinds of tattuams attached together we are going to talk about the five senses which is smell only the senses are huh? not the sense organs only the senses which is smell, uh, touch and uh, hearing, uh, you know the, the five senses that we have spoken about, those five are attached. Along with that we also get mind, intellect and ego. So mind, intellect, ego along with that the five senses put together is what we call it as Puri Atta Kaya, Atta means eight, which is what we call it as Pranamaya Kosha. Now if you look at the body. The physical body is not there, but the other layers are all there. Remember, the other layers will be there with us forever until we attain realization. Based on the karma, based on the good and the bad deeds, the physical body, the outside body will change. 
but other than that everything else will remain until we attain realization until then we will be having all those so this is how beautifully the entire concept of vidya tattvam is explained to us which is basically the uh, song number uh, verse number 19 i'll come back again with the next verse tomorrow until then bye bye